Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. And today a quick video on a couple of the new additions available in Prusonus Studio 1 version 4, which is also available in the Prime edition, which is free. The first one is being able to select the input of a channel, the output of another channel. This was not available previously, now is available. Here's what I mean. In your Mixing, in your mixing console setup, you can go to the options. Make sure you have show I.O. connections ticked. And if you still cannot see it, drag your console up and they pop up. Here, right at the top, you can see input left and right, input, 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 and so on. So they determine the inputs from your audio interface. So if you have a microphone connected to your input one, input two, and so on, in this system, I only have left and right because it's two channels. That's why I see left, 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 left and right together means the stereo input. So what I mean by being able to select other than your audio interface, let's add a new track, call it the guitar distortion. That's fine. Right next to it. This is my original guitar. This is my blank new track I've just added, but I can now select the input to be from the tracks, which is my this one here. So now this track, instead of being recorded from my audio interface, it's actually going to record the audio coming out from my other channel. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to arm it to record. And let's record it. So I'm just going to adjust the volume. Now, I have a new track, but this time this is the output of another track. Now, how useful this option is? Well, only time will tell. You can certainly record any changes on that track any effects you've added on that track onto your new track and then being able to take it the next step. Maybe you have a channel where there's too many effects, plugins that you've added, and this way you can print it to another track and minimize it. And then you can go on and remove those uh, effects. Or you can also add an effect, let's say uh, uh, lots of compression, and then record it and use that as maybe parallel compression, so you can balance the clean audio with a highly compressed audio and have that effect. Maybe you can come up with something that uh, would be useful as well. Make sure you comment below and share that information what this could be useful. So I hope uh, that was useful. And of course, the other thing that has been added uh, is show channel notes. Now we can write notes for each of the channel the new uh, guitar track, anything you like, so that you can understand and remember what you did on that track, written notes. That's quite useful as well. So I hope this video, short, quick video, was useful for you. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I will have more short videos describing the new options available in Studio One version 4, Prime Edition, as well as some of the Professional Edition. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.